everyone. This is Mark with Mr. Hurricane Tracker .webs.com, bringing you a tropical update for today, September 7, 2011. Taking a look at a newly formed storm, which is Tropical Storm Maria. First things first, though, we're taking a look at Acadia Hurricane Category 1. It's still moving away from the U.S. Most spaghetti models are continuing to say that they are going to move away from the U.S. and it's looking pretty good. And of course, we're tracking out here in the southern Gulf of Mexico in Vest 96L which most beginning models are pretty much out of whack because of the fact the storm is still very well disorganized and of course will continue to keep it posted. This storm out here we are tracking out in the eastern Pacific is pretty much dissipated. Not much to worry about. Once again, going back into Tropical Storm Maria, most models are showing it to continue to move on a westward path and once it gets out here into these little islands, which we'll probably see some very, very destructive storm uh, surge and wind, high wind. We'll continue to keep the posted guys out there in the Virgin Islands all the way up to Puerto Rico with these little islands out here. We'll continue to see a path kind of like Irene, and we'll have to watch that very, very close. Looking at the information from Mr. Hurricane Tracker, tracking Hurricane County, the latest advisory number 38 as of 11 a.m., max wind 75 knots, 85 miles per hour. Category 1, minimum central pressure 976, location at 29.2 degrees north, 68.8 degrees west, movement northwest at 9 knots or 10 miles per hour. Taking a look at the actual path of storm still moving away from the U.S. Very good news, guys. Tropical Storm Maria, tracking it as of 11 a.m. Uh, Atlantic Standard Time, max winds 45 knots or 50 miles per hour, minimum central pressure 1,003 millibars. Location 13.0 degrees north, 42.0 degrees west, movement west 20 knots or 23 miles per hour. Again, looking at the path, guys, this storm will continue to move west and have a path kind of similar to Irene. But will the conditions be favorable for a strong hurricane that is soon to come? And it looks like it's possible, but uh, less likely because of the upper level of the actual conditions out there in the Atlantic. Looks like it's going to actually still be a tropical storm and we'll have to continue to keep it posted on that because if it does turn into a hurricane it may be a threat to the U.S. Looking at the latest advisories from the National Hurricane Center, here are storms in Vest 96L which now has a greater chance of becoming a tropical depression 60 to 70. We're looking at Claudia and Maria and of course all the information below you can check that on your own. We're taking a look at the radar coming off of the coast of Africa. Of course we're getting check on the latitude longitude and you'll be able to track Kadi as it moves off and away from the coast of Africa. Or we're talking about Tropical Storm Maria, sorry. Now we're talking about Kadia. As you see here we already have the latitude longitude on as we're tracking it and the frontal systems that are activated. We're taking a look at the storm and it's continuing to move on out and it's going to curve according to this uh, actual frontal system here. We'll continue to curve and we hope that frontal system stays alive for that to happen. So again, folks, stay tuned to MrHurricaneTracker.web.com for the latest information on what's happening with these storms. And thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.